already. We're gonna start it. That's what happens when I try to kiss him for the first time. <laughs> That's right. Well, guys, we are amazed. At, in Atlanta, we had about 10 people in the front row. So, and that's about all we had for our family, so you know, it was great. It was, it was, and, and it was good, because Eric actually made me cry in the first panel, and I didn't even saw it, so it was great. It was great. Right. <laughs> well, guys, we want to talk about um, kind of a little bit of a background of this convention, in case you guys, how many of you just want to raise a dance and listen to our podcast? So you can, uh, if you haven't listened to us, we're the Walker Stalkers uh, podcast on iTunes. So make sure to look us up there. Um, and uh, and so uh, it's actually the Walking Dead cast favorite podcast, right? Uh, Jason, raise your hand. It's your favorite, right? Yeah, Jason, right there. Did you listen? Second favorite. Second favorite, right? So uh, just a quick background. Uh, we started this thing with a visit to the set of The Walking Dead, November uh, 16th, 2012. James and I drove down, we got up at four in the morning, drove down to, from Nashville to Atlanta uh, and to the set in Sonoy, Georgia of Woodbury. And we had no idea what we were about to encounter, what, what this journey was gonna do for us. But we got to meet, within 15 minutes, we met Lori Holden uh, on the set in the back lot. And uh, from there, it just uh, just kept getting better and better and better. We, we met about seven or eight of the actors, finished it up with, uh, we got to hang out with Melissa McBride for about 30 minutes, having coffee with her. Uh, and then we got to meet uh, Andy, Andy Lincoln, uh, and, and a guy named Norman Reedus a couple of times. So, uh, and we met Greg Nicotero there, and, and uh, we just had a great time. And so, we started this podcast, had no idea it was gonna, get as big as it was, because it's, it's, you do it in my basement, okay, so uh, low, low tech, bad microphones, and, uh, and screaming kids, That's and awesome. screaming kids running through the room, so, because James has six kids, and I have three, so we're, we're very busy uh, dads, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, pretty soon after that, we got uh, Greg Nicotero to come on our first, uh, as our first guest from the podcast, and it just opened it up from there. We did a premiere party, uh, sorry, finale party for season three in, in uh, Atlanta, Sonoy area, and then uh, James had this crazy idea to do a uh, to do a convention. Yeah, and we wanted to make the convention a reflection of our experience when we went to Atlanta. And in doing that, we want you all to come away from this weekend feeling like you really had an awesome experience. You got to listen, to meet, take photographs, and we have the cast for the show. Um, and it couldn't be done without, there's about 20 other people involved that spent 20, 30 hours a week here, completely fan funded. We're not a, you know, a Wizard World or a C2E2, I mean, things you all have done here in Chicago. How many founding members are there in the room? Your founding members have contributed to our Kickstarter campaign. Awesome. Right there. You're forever on our website, listed. Yes. And we really wanted uh, to make an experience for our, for our community. I have a middle 
tight in my head. So because of that, there's interference. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what, what Eric was saying is, you know, the last time we only had Greg Nicotero deny Steven Yeun and Andy. So we had four Lucky Dead members doing a panel. Now it's it's pretty much every other panel is a member of the Lucky Dead. And and that's really awesome because you'll find that these actors are the, some of the most accessible, uh, friendly, and fun people that you will meet on television. Um, having done tons of conventions before this, that, that you just can't say that about everybody. And I think Jason would even agree with the Walking Dead cast. The Walking Dead cast and crew love their fans. And you'll experience that this weekend, and you're going to come away loving another character that you probably didn't like before. I mean, and, and that's that's the honest truth. Like, like Daniel Thomas Bay played Alan. I mean, when he said, let's go kill Carol and Carl and take over the prison, I mean, everybody, everybody didn't like the guy. But you go up and meet him, and he is one of the friendliest guys in the world. I mean, shoot, he was in our basement like two weeks ago singing country songs with us, if you were listening to the podcast. And, and that's the honest truth about every actor that's here this weekend. And they get it. I, last night at the bar, every one of them was telling me that this is just awesome. And we come because of the podcast and how it connects the fans with the actors. That's what we wanted. And um, they get the vision. And you'll see that this weekend. And we want you to get the vision, too, that we don't expect that 20, 30,000 people at some of these things. We just want it to be comfortable. We want you to enjoy yourself and get to meet the people that you want to. Yeah, so a um, couple of uh, highlights. If you are a VIP, uh, we'll have the VIP meet and greet on Saturday night. Uh, should have a lot of celebrities there in the room, and that's in the ballroom. Uh, in case you don't know where that is, it's uh, diagonally across the lobby, uh, in through those doors, and uh, that's, where you, that's where all the other events are outside of the convention. Uh, so we'll also have the Emily Kinney concert tonight. Who's going to the concert? Yes. Emily is also one of our favorites, uh, and uh, she'll, she'll be doing a concert. She'll be doing a VIP meet and greet at 8.30. That's for the, the people that bought that specific VIP. And then, um, and then we're doing a zombie bash on Saturday night as well, which is uh, 17 and up. Uh, come dressed up, just like several of you are. I already see some pretty scary outfits. Uh, who's going to dance with the really tall guy? That's what I want to know. <laughs> so, uh, anything else we want to talk about? Um, yeah, uh, going back to Emily Kenny. She, guys, she puts on a wonderful show. Um, I, you've heard her sing on the show, but in person, um, she's just friendly. She tells stories about being on the show and how the song fit into the show. It's just a really cool atmosphere and vibe. Um, so I really encourage you, I think tickets are 25 bucks at the door, to, to go with that uh, and support her. Um, it, it, there's just going to be so many other opportunities throughout the weekend for just little things. Um, we're, we're actually premiering our pilot after this convention. It's called Game of Thumbs. It's based on the uh, it's a spin off of Game of Arms. So throughout the weekend, you will actually see the celebrities uh, competing in thumb wrestling. And I anticipate uh, and I hope that you will cheer them on and you know, you know tell Lauren Cohen she's going down or you know, just just steal out random things. But that'll be shooting throughout the weekend, and it's just a stupid YouTube thing we're doing actually. Uh, but most of the actors have already agreed to participate. There are going to be a lot of great opportunities throughout the weekend for St. Jude's, which is our uh, partner charity for the convention. Um, we were able to uh, raise uh, just this month. Uh, over two thousand dollars for them through um, signing the banner, the actors signing the banners and then auctioning them off. Um, but we're really going to be more proactive than just letting them have a booth. Um, we want uh, during the panels, if you got those changes, to donate. But there's going to be other opportunities to buy autographs from actors who aren't attending at their booth, um, and, and just look, look out for things. There's.